Hello everyone, it's Sandra and it is time for April favorites. I'm actually filming this video on my vlog camera. I was going to film with my DSLR but the battery was dead and I don't want to lose daylight. It's kind of nice, I'm actually sitting on the floor. It's more of a relaxed old school YouTube video vibe. It's nice not to worry about like studio lighting or microphone. Now the month of April actually started out super, super cold and I had a couple of weeks in which my skin was really dry. It was kind of flaky and dehydrated and also not as oily as usual and I was trying to kind of do as much as I could could to keep my skin hydrated and I really really appreciated this face mist the Zellens Z Balance prebiotic and probiotic facial mist this was recommended by Caroline Hirons when she did her Zellens brand overview video and I just really like the sound of it so I ordered it and I really enjoy using this if you have dehydrated skin this is great to kind of keep in your handbag. I was actually keeping this in my handbag and just kind of refreshing my skin at work. And I found that when I was using this, I was not getting those dry, flaky bits of skin that I was getting in those two weeks of, um, of dryness. So this really helped alleviate those dry, flaky patches of skin. The only con is that this is super, super expensive. This is $75 on the Barney's website and you only get 50 milliliters of product. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can order this from Cult Beauty. Cult Beauty is a British website and they charge you in pounds and with the exchange rate, that comes out to around 65 US dollars. So you can save, um, you can save quite a bit of money if you order this from Cult Beauty. But I just think that's such a high price to pay on a face mist, which is like a skincare product that you tend to go through so quickly. While this is a wonderful face mist, I can't say that it is worth such a hefty investment to keep repurchasing it. I would repurchase it. It is very, very um, effective, but at the end of the day, it's just a face mist. You know what I mean? There are so many face mists out there that are really really nice that don't cost as much money case in point we have the jordan samuel skin hydrate the mist in terms of pricing this is 29 us dollars and you get two and a half times more product this is 120 milliliters versus 50 milliliters and in terms of ingredients obviously the zellens mist contains prebiotics, probiotics, and a lot of antioxidants as well. Whereas the Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Mist focuses more on hydrating and soothing ingredients. And to be honest, in terms of keeping my skin feeling comfortable and hydrated, this does just as good of a job. So I have been really enjoying both of these. In the last, kind of the last week and a half of April, it's getting a little bit warmer outside and my skin is slowly getting back to normal. So I'm just more, more like a combination oily skin now and this still feels really nice and it just helps alleviate my skin of any dehydration. It keeps my skin really fresh and glowy and this will be really nice stored in the fridge in the summertime to just kind of get a cooling mist. The next skincare item is an eye cream that I have mentioned before as well, but this is the Ulla Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream and it's very well loved. I actually use this every single day and I've used this every single day since January. It just provides the perfect canvas for under eye concealer. So if you're somebody that likes under eye concealer, under eye corrector, you love your under eye products, especially if you like more full coverage products underneath your eyes, this is such a wonderful product to wear underneath. I just feel like ever since I started using this, I never get any issues with cakiness and I've just been so, so happy with my under eye concealer combination. Like I've been wearing the under eye concealer combination that I've had right now. I've been wearing it for 12 hours. 12 or 11 hours, I have not touched up my under eye area at all, and it's still going strong. So, with that being said, this is like, this has just been my holy grail under eye situation, which is overkill. I mean, it's four products. If you can get the job done with just one product, I applaud you, but sometimes the struggle is real and you need four products to get the job done. But I do the Ulla Henriksen eye cream underneath, I kind of apply this uh, when I do the rest of my morning skincare. Then I do the Sicily number two 
eye corrector. I use this if I have any like purple or green or blue undertones happening under the eyes. Then I go in with my Revlon Youth Effects Concealer in the shade Light. I apply just a tiny amount of this in the inner corner to brighten. And then I use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. As you can see, this is very well loved. I'm getting down to the end of this. This is in the shade 20. This has more of a yellow, golden undertone. I use this like over here to just kind of help blend in. I don't like the look of a super, super stark, bright under eye. I like to kind of blend it in with the rest of my skin color. So I use this to kind of help balance out the super, super brightness from this Revlon concealer with the rest of my face color. Then I just kind of either use my ring finger or a damp beauty blender sponge to mix everything together. You can actually see this combination in action in my last video that I did, the one with my everyday makeup routine. So I've just been loving this series of products so much. And I'm actually really, really happy with my entire concealer selection. I feel like I've really used up or gotten rid of a lot of the concealers I was very lukewarm about and I've only kept and purchased concealers that I'm super impressed by and that I really, really love. I would actually happily repurchase every single concealer in my current concealer co collection. I'm very happy with everything. So if you want me to do like an updated concealer collection, let me know in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to do that because I, I actually like look, <laughs> This sounds so stupid, but I look at my concealer collection which, with such fondness now because I truly love every single piece in there and every single piece kind of has its purpose in my routine and I would love to get to a point like that with my foundations, but I'm such a foundation hoarder, it's ridiculous and I'm really hoping to kind of just use up as much as I can this year and not buy any more new foundations until I use up a ton and kind of pare down my collection to just a handful of favorites. The next couple of beauty items are lip products and this is MAC Oak Lip Pencil. I also sang its praises in my everyday makeup routine video but this lip liner works with everything. It has worked if I wanted a little bit more of a hint of color like today I'm actually wearing my YSL um, Volup Color Balm in number 8, the pink one. It just, it just faded a lot. I just have like a light pink stain left behind and then I used this on top. This is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. This is in the shade Candy and it's so pretty. As you can see, it's also very, very well loved. I love using this, especially in the spring and summer when my hair is pulled back because this is, it's a lip oil but it has a beautiful glossy finish and it actually is really hydrating on the lips. I actually keep this in my handbag. It makes your lips look a little bit more plump. It smells like candy and it just leaves such a pretty sheer wash of pink on the lips and it actually works really well with oak lip liner to define the lip line a little bit and make the lips look a little bit fuller. I love the fact that this lip liner works with nude and bolder lips. I actually even wore this with a red lipstick a couple of times this month and I've just been reaching for it a ton. I find it to be really, really versatile and um, this Clarins lip oil is beautiful. I find that a lot of the times if I'm at work, um, even if I don't start the day off with my hair up, I always end up putting my hair up. At some point in the middle of the day, I just it's just a habit of mine. I always have a little um, Invisibobble on my wrist and I end up just throwing my hair up either in a messy bun or in a ponytail and then I add a little bit of lip gloss because I, ha I hate the feeling of like glossy lips and hair in it. So I only really wear glossy lip products when my hair is tied back but I absolutely love the look and the feel of this. It's just so hydrating and it's the perfect little pick-me-up and I'm I'm actually surprised at how how much more I'm gravitating towards shinier sheer lip colors maybe because the beauty world has been so obsessed with like matte intense liquid lipsticks for so long that now we're kind of all just trying to break free and embracing the sheer glossy formulas because I think I'm, I'm seeing like glossy lips and tinted lip oils and stuff like that. I'm seeing them make a comeback and I'm not mad about that. I mean everything kind of goes in waves, right? 
fashion, with makeup, everything, all the trends are kind of cyclical and they all end up coming back around anyway. And the last beauty product I want to mention is a perfume oil. And this is a sandalwood oil. I think the brand is Nemat. I purchased this in Toronto at Jacob and Sebastian. Um, you can also find this at Whole Foods in the United States. It was $35 Canadian and my friend Dina bought it at Whole Foods and she said it was like around like $24 in the States. A little goes a long way. It's a roller ball. So this is like the poor man's version of Le Labo Santal 33. So if you really like the smell of Le Labo Santal 33, I think you will really love this sandalwood oil. Such a clean, earthy, slightly sweet, musky scent. I actually get a lot of compliments when I wear this and everyone's always surprised when I tell them it's just pure sandalwood oil and it just makes me happy every time I wear it. So if you're into like Kiehl's Musk or Le Labo Santal 33, go to your local grocery store and check out this oil. My friend Dina also recommends the Amber oil. I haven't smelled that by them yet, but she has that one and she really loves it too. So check out the Amber, check out the Sandalwood, and uh, let me know what you think. I think this is really nice. And it's nice that it also doesn't break the bank. Like you can see how much I have used up and I've been using it quite a bit over the last month and a half. Now in terms of fashion, I have a couple of jewelry items. And the first is the necklace that I'm wearing right now. I I've actually had this necklace for almost three years, but I don't think I've ever really talked about it on my channel. At any rate, I don't remember if I did before, maybe when I first got it, but I haven't talked about it in a while. And I just, I go through phases with, with jewelry. I go through phases where I'm really into bracelets, then I go through another phase where I'm wearing a lot more rings, and then I go through a necklace phase. It kind of kind of changes every few months or so, but this necklace is my favorite necklace that I own, and I just started wearing this again over the last month and a half, and I really love it. It makes me so happy. It works with all my outfits, and it's by the brand Hitchcock Madrona. They are, um, it's a boutique based in Seattle, and they also have, um, they carry a lot of different designers, but they also have their in-house jewelry line. So this is where that is from. And I like the fact that it has gold and oxidized silver. So it kind of works with everything in my jewelry collection. I like to mix metals. So if you like mixing metals as well, this is the perfect piece to add to your collection. This is an oxidized silver chain and then there's a solid gold shield with a diamond in it. Now I have the small shield with a white diamond. They also make a larger shield. You can also choose it to have a black diamond in it if you want or you can choose the version that has no diamond in it so there are a few modifications you can make with it but I just I really love it and I've like I mentioned I've had it for three years it still looks brand new a solid solid piece of jewelry and I thought that I would give it a shout out because I've, I've been wearing this again and then the other thing is a pair of earrings I've worn these in a video before and I actually wore them I was in New Orleans at the beginning of the month and I guess New Orleans can be another favorite. I fell in love with that city. It was so, so, so much fun. We spent four days there at the beginning of April and it was so much fun. The food was delicious. The people were so incredibly friendly and kind and charismatic and the atmosphere was electric, the weather was beautiful, the architecture was stunning. I actually did a blog post with um, some of my favorite restaurants and some of the, the sites that we saw and there's actually a little story highlight. Um, if you go to my Instagram, you know the Instagram stories, the highlights, I did a highlight with just with some of the random pictures I was capturing with my iPhone in New Orleans so you can check that out and I will link to my blog post as well on the screen and then in the description box below if you're interested if you're planning on going there. We ate a lot of food so I wrote about a lot of uh, a lot of our favorite meals that we've had there. I wore these earrings a lot when we were going out at night in New Orleans and I just loved that they made all my plain outfits look a little bit more dressed up. I bought these from Netta Porter. The brand is Dinosaur Designs. I think they're an Australian jewelry brand and they are sterling silver earrings with a little bit of uh, a pearl detail and I like the fact that these are kind of simple and classy and I feel like they're they're quite timeless and I just really love the way that they hang especially with like a low ponytail or bun. I've even worn it with my hair down and just like a white linen jacket. It looked really, really pretty and a bright red lip. I just loved how these and a red lip 
with minimal makeup and just simple like linen, white, or even with like a black tank top and black skinny jeans. It ended up just looking really put together. I really like pieces like this that you can just kind of throw on and they're really easy and they just, just tie everything together really nicely. And then the other thing that I've really been enjoying um, is a pair of running shoes. Even though I don't really run in them, I, let's call them walking shoes. They're by Superga and they're the style name 2832 Nylu, N-Y-L-U. Now, for some reason, I don't think these are available in North America. They might be like a Europe, UK exclusive model. I bought these in London last year and you can buy them if you are in Europe or if you're in the UK, you can buy them. They're actually on sale right now on the Superga website, but unfortunately I was not able to find them anywhere in North America. For travel, they are the most comfortable walking shoe that I own that I have ever worn. I have really, really, really sensitive feet. Um, I get blisters from, from everything basically and I usually just kind of brave through it and I just buy a lot of those blister bands Bandages, but I never have any issues with these. They're actually suede and nylon. They're like this blush suede and the white parts are nylon. Now the fact that um, they're suede makes them a little bit high maintenance because obviously suede gets dirty quite quickly and they're, it's kind of difficult to clean, but I don't mind. I kind of like the worn in shoe look and I think there's like, there's brands like Golden Goose that charge you like $500 just because their shoes look really worn. So. I'm kind of into the look, I don't mind it. But just in terms of comfort, these are fantastic. They're true to size, I got these in a size 37. I'm a size seven or 37 in um, US European sizing. When I travel, I like to walk as much as possible. So these are a lifesaver. I really, really, really enjoy these and I highly recommend them. And then the other two things are podcasts. They kind of showcase uh, different facets of my personality quite well. The first is um, called Full Coverage and it's a beauty podcast. And it's hosted by two ladies. They are living in LA, but they are originally from the UK. One of them is a professional makeup artist and then the other one is just a beauty enthusiast and I think they do episodes every other week and it's just like chatting with a couple of girlfriends about the latest and greatest in makeup. So they talk about new releases, they talk about like gossip in the beauty world. Sometimes they, they do interviews with like brand founders and other people in the industry. So it's just been such a fun podcast to listen to. Great, I love that the episodes are longer. So if you have a longer commute, they are really easy to listen to. And it's just the type of content that just puts a smile on your face. I feel like I'm listening to a couple of my girlfriends chatting about makeup. And then the other podcast that I've kind of been getting back into is actually one of my favorite podcasts of all time, I purposely stopped listening to it for months on end just so that I can have like a big chunk of episodes to catch up on because it's the type of podcast that I like to kind of binge listen to. It's called Reply All and it will it's not a podcast for everyone. I think if you are, um, if you're kind of nerdy and you really like the internet, you will really love this podcast. A lot of what they do, a lot of the topics that they cover have to deal with the internet, some more like obscure parts of, of the internet like they've done a lot of stuff on like hacking and phishing scams so I don't know if it's, it's something that everyone would enjoy but I absolutely love it like the storytelling the production on it is incredible it's done by Gimlet which is like a big network of podcasts and they do a lot of really really high quality work actually the two episodes that I, that I was listening to today were still from 2017 and they were about like a lady who is a bounty hunter she uses all these websites to kind of track people down and, and like people that have escaped the justice system and she like tracks them down and brings them to justice. Anyway, that concludes my video. I am starting to lose light, the sun is going down. I hope that you had a wonderful April and I hope that good things are coming your way in May. But I will see you soon in one of my future videos. Bye.